A stepper motor is an electrical machine that is based on the electromagnetic principle and is used for converting electrical energy into mechanical energy. It consists of a stationary stator and a rotating rotor. The stator has eight radially positioned pole shoes, and because of the eddy current loss, it's made from thin, soft magnetic plates that are electrically insulated from each other. The pole shoes are wrapped with an enameled copper wire, resulting in a coil with an iron core, which intensifies the magnetic field lines and flux density. When current flows through the windings, a magnetic field is produced that can be visualized by field lines. The number of windings, the current and the pole size determine the density of the magnetic field lines. The field lines exit in bundles of the pole shoe and close again through a small air gap, the rotor and the back iron of the stator. When current flows, the windings generate a magnetic field with a strong north and south pole, which is determined by the right-hand rule. If the direction of the current in the winding changes, the polarity of the electromagnets is reversed. By switching or turning on or off the power supply of the winding or coil pairs that are perpendicular to one another, the start can be controlled and an alternating or rotating magnetic field can be produced. If a four-pole permanent magnet is used as a rotor, there will be continuous attraction or repulsion between the stator and the rotor. However, with a four-phase stator field and a four-pole rotor, only a relatively low step resolution of 22.5 degrees will be achieved. To increase the number of poles on the rotor, thin, soft magnetic plates are applied to a permanent magnet with axial pole alignment. Through this intensification of the magnetic field, the plates themselves become a magnet with a strong north and south pole. The two rotor shells are then turned by half a toothpitch and trigger a polarity change in the stator. Now the rotor has 50 pole pairs with a pole pitch of 7.2 degrees. The stator design remains roughly the same, but the pole shoes have six teeth, each to achieve a lining of the magnetic field lines at the tooth tips. With its eight pole shoes, the stator has 48 teeth, two fewer than the rotor. The combination of the relatively simple permanent magnets with axial magnetization and the additional pole shoe teeth represent the birth of the first hybrid stepper motor. Now let's look at the detail view. If a hybrid stepper motor runs in full step mode, both phases, that is A and B, and therefore all windings, are supplied with current. All eight pole shoes will have a strong north or south pole. There is maximum magnetic attraction between the different magnetized pole shoes and the rotor poles. By contrast, the forces of attraction and repulsion between the evenly magnetized pole shoes and the rotor poles are almost equal. The winding is energized in accordance with the phase model in four electrical steps, from the initial position of zero degrees through 90 to 360 degrees. The stator field turns clockwise in four steps, from the initial position of zero degrees through 45 to 180 degrees. The rotor turns mechanically in four steps from the initial position of zero degrees through 1.8 to 7.2 degrees. One electrical cycle of 360 degrees with four pulses therefore corresponds to a mechanical rotor angle of 7.2 degrees. In half-step mode, the phases are switched off alternately. There is maximum magnetic attraction in each energized phase. On the horizontal axis between the south pole stator and the north pole rotor shells, there is maximum magnetic attraction. While there is perfect magnetic attraction on the vertical axis between the north pole stators and the south pole rotor shells. 
Energization also follows the phase model in eight electrical steps, from the initial position of zero degrees through 45 to 360 degrees. Switching the current level from 71% to 100% and back to 71% results in a consistent current or power vector. The stator field turns clockwise in eight steps from the initial position of zero degrees through 22.5 to 180 degrees. The rotor turns mechanically in eight steps from the initial position of 0 degrees through 0 0.9 to 7.2 degrees. In micro-step mode, the two-phase currents are similar to a sine curve. Here the stator field turns by 5.625 degrees and the rotor by 0 0.225 degrees. Because of the lower current levels, the motor runs smoother and the resonance behavior and step angle are improved, but please note the step angle is less precise. Now we need to look at the stable and unstable operating range, the step losses and the caster angle. In this position, the rotor is aligned precisely and magnetically with the stator field in the center. The rotor is kept magnetically balanced by the right directional force of the left rotor teeth and by the left directional force of the right rotor teeth. If there is a load on the rotor, it turns in relation to the stator. As long as the load angle is mechanically smaller than 1.8 degrees, the rotor remains stable. As soon as the load angle exceeds 1.8 degrees, the rotor becomes unstable because the forces of repulsion are higher than the forces of attraction. While running, the rotor usually loses 7.2 degrees or a multiple thereof compared with its initial position or it falls completely out of step. Here, the rotor reverts to its stable starting position of 0 degrees due to its smaller outer load torque. In its stable starting position, which is close to the neutral position of the stepper motor, there is no tangential force on the rotor, and the torque is almost zero. As soon as the stator field is advanced by the windings, or a load is put on the motor, the rotor falls behind, and tangential force occurs. Through the vectorial total of the forces of attraction and repulsion, the maximum torque and therefore the optimal load angle is achieved when the stator field is precisely perpendicular to the rotor field, or at 1.8 degrees. It's therefore the main task of a good stepper motor controller to switch the stator winding at the right time, in order to keep the optimal load angle constant. In field-oriented control, the stator field is switched based on the rotor position measured by an encoder, or estimated using sensorless control. Thus the optimal load angle of 90 degrees is maintained. In this way resonances are avoided and torque ripple, running noise and the motor temperature are greatly reduced. At the same time synchronicity and positioning accuracy under load are improved. The motor will no longer fall out of step, so less safety margin is required when determining the torque. This means efficiency can be increased by 25 to 50 percent.